大家好，我是四季坚果。I'm in the tropical island province of Hainan, the home of the best coffee in the world. So today I'm in Xinglong here in the city of Vanning, and I'm walking through a coffee plantation. Now, even though China is famous for tea, here in Hainan, coffee is king. And the island province boasts the ideal conditions for growing these things, coffee beans. So the type of coffee being grown here is the Robusta variety. And actually, coffee cultivation here on the island has a unique and rich history. And that is the first and last coffee pun I'll be making during this episode. After all, I'm not filming a roast. So back in the 1950s, a large number of overseas Chinese returned to the Chinese mainland from countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, and several other Southeast Asian countries. And they brought with them their love of drinking coffee, as well as coffee seeds, and the knowledge of how to produce it. Oh. It is hot in there, wow. So every year here in Xinlong, 100 tons of coffee is consumed. 100 tons, just in this one town. The annual per capita coffee consumption is nearly 300 cups, which basically means everyone's drinking coffee. Almost everyone is drinking coffee. So if you think about traditional Chinese breakfast or the stereotypical Chinese breakfast, it's you tiao, a fried dough stick, and doujiang, a soybean milk. Here in Xinglong, it's you tiao, a fried dough stick, and a cup of coffee. In fact, there's a saying that for breakfast everyone will have yi zhong liang jian. Yi zhong cafe, liang jian gao dian. So one cup of coffee and two cakes. Hey, hello. You are in this coffee shop? Yes, in this coffee shop. Do you know how many coffee shops are here? Yes, there are 8,000 coffee shops. Are you a Hainan person? Yes, Hainan person. Do you drink this Xinlong coffee every day? Yes. 那你能告诉我，新龙咖啡的味道有什么独特的方面？新龙咖啡啊，像我们本地人的话，每天早上都要喝一,一杯新龙咖啡的、哦。每个人去到店里面吃早餐的话，都是必点的饮品。能直接吃这个咖啡豆吗？呃，你也可以试一下，比较甜的。甜？对，像这种可以吃。那我吃这个。你会直接吃吗？会啊，店里面干活的时候，有时候看到比较好的会尝试一下。哦，非常甜，对，甜，很甜，嗯，所以红的就是的，对，红的是熟的、嗯，但里边，像我们吃的话，像这种生吃是就是吃皮，嗯，但加工的话是里边的那个籽，哦、是那个籽是吗？对，哦，好，那我不打扰你，<笑>谢谢，谢谢，嗯、啊，没事。So aside from the coffee beans, the red coffee beans and the green coffee beans, there are also flowers on the、uh, on the coffee trees. Oh, they smell really, really sweet. They don't smell nothing like coffee. Nothing like coffee at all. It's very delicate, fragrant. Mm. Could make a very nice perfume out of this. There you go. Just a. Uh, there you go. So just walking down one random street here in Singapore. Passing loads of coffee bars along the way, literally everywhere along this street, selling coffee. Here's some locals having coffee. Another coffee shop. Oh, I'm now to Xiaoma. Oh, okay. So I'm going to order a cafe. Oh, oh. Cafe Nai Ru, and then Duo Nai, Shao Nai, Sanhua Bu Tian, Duo Nai. Okay. And the Ye Jun. Right. So I'm not a coffee expert, but I do drink it every day, and I know what tastes nice to me. And what doesn't taste nice? And to be honest, I have had Xinlong Cafe before, and、uh, I know that it is nice. Oh, 谢谢 
So you can actually see the milk is at the very bottom. It'll no doubt be sweeter. I'm guessing that's condensed milk. It's very, very dark. This is my first time having uh, Singlong Cafe in Singlong, so I'm quite excited about this. It's got a very, very mellow flavour, and that's probably part, partly because of the, um, the way that they make the coffee. When the coffee beans are being roasted, they add butter and sugar. So even if you don't add sugar to your coffee, it still has that very mellow taste. Here's my cake. Cheers, yeah. So, yi zhong liang jian. Should be yi zhong liang jian. I've just gone for yi zhong yi jian. One cake. One cup and one cake. So my ye jian, my coconut roll, it's basically um, glutinous rice and then coconut inside. Lovely. So sweet. And that is balanced perfectly by the bitterness. Not very bitter, but slight bitterness of the Xinlong Cafe. Mm. Now, back in 2020, the EU and China rolled out measures to protect 100 EU geographical indications, GIs, and 100 Chinese GIs. And within that list of 100 Chinese GIs being protected in Europe against imitation was Xinlong Cafe. Mm. What media? Oh, she's Sungay War. Oh, she's here. <laughs> you man, <laughs> you man, that right doesn't really go with my coffee. Sit here, sit here. Doesn't go with the coffee at all, but it's very, very nice of them. Mm. So, the inclusion of Singlong Cafe within those 100 Chinese GIs being protected in the EU was just an indicator of the iconic status of Xilong Cafe here in China. So Van Ning has focused on improving coffee farming practices here within the city, also promotes coffee tourism projects. I've seen a number of exhibition halls around the city where you can go in and learn about the process of picking the coffee beans and roasting the coffee and how it, how it gets into our cups on our breakfast tables and uh, that's all to help drive economic development and also in the city there is emphasis on protecting the ecology of the local area so after i finish my coffee and my cake and my fish balls we're gonna go somewhere where it's all about protecting the ecology <laughs>